Well, starting with the compound discipline, shooting over 50 metres. Cumulative score, of course, as the match is shot over 15 arrows. And we'll have Puerto Rico's Marla Cintron, who came through the ranking round ranked fifth, going up against uh, Barbadian Charlene Goddard, who was sixth after a 6.54 in the, the ranking round. Para el ranking mundial panamericano juvenil, Medellín 2021. Hoy iniciaremos las finales. Y el partido que ustedes van a ver a continuación es la disputa de la medalla de bronce en el arco compuesto femenino. As you can see, a limited crowd here in Medellin for the obvious reason. Uh, lots of precautions being taken here in one of the biggest cities in Colombia, mask wearing at all times, unless the archers are on the shooting line. Uh, this is part of World Archery's Back to Archery campaign after 15 months of a hiatus in international competition. En la paca número dos, y representando a Barbados, Charlene Cristina Goda. La juez del partido, Talía Rohan. Well, we're ready to get underway here. Marla Cintron of Puerto Rico against Charlene Goddard of Barbados. Puerto Rico. And this for the compound women's bronze medal match. Marla Cintron of Puerto Rico will shoot first in end number one. I'll shoot each end in three sets of arrows, but it's an accumulative score at the end of 15 that counts. <laughs> And the nine to start for Marla Cintron. Good sighter for her. Yeah. Even better from Goddard. Yeah. It's a good steady start there. Goddard shot her first arrow really quickly. Be interesting to see if she continues at that speed. So level after a pair of good arrows from both of the archers. Solid start, so important. And these compound medal matches and a 28 for Citron. Mini advantage here for Goddard at this early stage with a 10. Oh, She's pulled yeah, that yeah. well wide, though. She missed the target there. Only a 19. Uh, Nikki, uh, is that a significant problem already? Yeah, big flinch there. So you could see um, the release aid just kind of she just went soft on the shot, so she lost her back tension. Um, that's going to be quite devastating on the first end. Um, she's really got to get her head back into this now, calm down. You know, the coach is probably telling her just just chill. It's the first end gone, but you know this is a raw score, so she's got a long way to come back. Yeah, nine point deficit after just three arrows so 12 arrows to recover she's really got to start hammering it into the center of the target charlene goddard solid start from marla cintron though the puerto rican scoring a very good 28 in the first end and she's already got one hand on the bronze medal you have to say so nikki what could have caused that is it nerves is it tension 
Yeah, definitely. Um, I think nerves, um, I mean, it's sort of a little bit perhaps a target panic. So she's come into this big stadium, just completely lost the back tension, lost the back of the, the shot completely, and we saw it just miss the target face. So she's really got to chill out now and just get back into a number routine. Yeah, she's got to clear that from her mind and just shoot the next 12 arrows. It's time for end number two. So a miss from Goddard in the first. I mean, she will shoot first in the second. Has to get off to a good start here. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that. She's come back, hasn't she? Got back into her form. You can see the thumb on the release there and yeah, some much better, stronger shots. Just a little bit of movement there. It's drifted over into the eight. So a 27. Moving. Quicker shot from uh, three nines for a 27. So maintaining uh, the nine point lead. Cintron of Puerto Rico still in a very commanding position. So, Nikki, I suppose, uh, you know, tough for Charlene Goddard. She has to recover, and she's shown that she can uh, in that second end. But, I mean, what's going to be going through uh, Marla Cintron's mind? She must be thinking, well, I've got this in the bag already. Yeah, I mean, it's really dangerous thinking. You've got to stay right now in the present uh, tense. You know, if you start to think about, could I win this match? That brings in all sorts of thoughts that you don't really want. So even whatever's happened with your competitor, you're just going to stick with your normal routine and stay with your normal shot process. Yeah, stay disciplined, of course. Now, with these championships, we've had two today, one in uh, Slovenia and this one here in Colombia. Uh, you tend to get a bit of a regional flavour, a continental flavour to the ranking events. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we're seeing more of the South uh, American shooters in this event today. Uh, and we've seen them, as you've already said, um, uh, already at the World Cup and the Pan Am Games. So, you know, these guys have been out there. They've uh, been shooting internationals and it's good to see them um, shooting, shooting well. Oh, and it's great to be able to bring uh, you, the fans, the coverage. It's time for end number three. So Goddard from Barbados trailing by nine after a miss in the first end. We'll shoot again the start of the third. So watch Goddard wrapping a thumb around. See that trigger there, and the thumb is on, and it goes very quick. So she's got a big variance in her shot timing, um, which has given us these erratic scores, I think. Well, the, the miss we had earlier, so. Yes. Couple of quicker arrows there, and her best score so far of a 29. And then number three can be matched by Cintron. Bit of movement there, drifting over to the nine for a 28. So just closing the gap up a tiny bit there, Goddard. 
And Nikki, you mentioned uh, a variation in her, in her draw. Uh, what would you say as a coach to fix that for the Barbadian? Yeah, I mean, so she's, um, Goddard is shooting more of a, what we call a punch. She's just laying her thumb on the trigger, and that's when we're getting the variances in the shot timing. So that's her style of shooting. Um, she's just got to keep it calm, keep it relaxed, stick to her normal process, where Citroen's shooting a very different way. She's shooting a hinge. Um, so the release aid kind of hinges and moves back as she uses her back tension and pressure to, to make the shot go off. So very different styles. Yeah, very different styles. You mentioned punches for, for those of you out there that uh, want to know more about the punches. World Archery have recently released a video about the archers that choose to punch. Uh, it's all over Facebook and YouTube and all the usual usual places. It gives you a really good idea of the differences between the techniques that different archers employ. Here, the puncher well, is having to punch from behind, trailing by eight as we go in to end number four. Just six arrows left for Goddard to find a way back into this. But you have to say, with each arrow, getting the bronze medal is going to seem further and further away unless we see a mistake from Sintron. Great composure from the Puerto Rican. Another quick shot there. You can see a thumb on the trigger quite quickly and it going off. So watch the difference here with Citron. She's getting into position. Then she starts, her thumb comes away from the hinge. She's on her back tension, pushing and pulling. Very different yeah. style. Another quick shot and another 29 for Charlene Goddard. But Cintron is on for a perfect 30. Just drifting out into the nine, but more than enough for a still commanding eight point lead after four ends. Nikki, the last place you want a miss to happen is in a medal match, but um, are there any ways to really minimise the chances of that flinch, as you put it? Yeah, I mean, I'm a big advocate of the back tension. I used to shoot um, very much uh, with, with my back rather than uh, the punch, but we are seeing more and ar more archers coming yeah. through with this technique. And it's not to say it can't be done, but under pressure, there's more chance it can break down, as we saw. So, um, you know, my recommendation for archers new to the sport would be really try and get that back tension, really understand um, that element of the shot, because this is where it really shows up. And, and why is it that you're seeing more punches coming through? I don't know, to be honest, it's interesting. I mean, in the wind, um, the punching can can work because if you, you get battered by the wind and you know you quickly see the gold and you can punch, then often that can be better. And perhaps we do have a lot of windy conditions, so that could play a factor. Very interesting. Uh, well, Charlene Goddard definitely is a puncher. She is behind at the moment by eight points. Let's see what she can do in end number five. Lot to ask for from Charlene Goddard. Another quick shot and another 10. Really, with three arrows left for Marla Sintron, Goddard is looking for some favours here. Just dropping into the eight for the first time. You could see the grimace on her face. She knew that was low. Another quick shot that puts the pressure back on Sintron because she hasn't got much time to recover, especially after that bad shot. You see her just shaking a little bit, can't you now? 
Yeah, definitely feeling the pressure. Can Goddard finish with a perfect? She can indeed. Some recovery from that miss early on, but a 134, as you can see, very reachable, even with another eight. And Cintron does indeed get another eight for a 24 and finishes on 100. And 36. So in the end, uh, a lot closer than it might have been, but it is a bronze medal for Marla Cintron of Puerto Rico, of course, subject to confirmation from the target judges. Let's see if we can hear what they have to say. So three eights there for Cintron confirmed. It sounded like certainly one X there and two tens. Well, we wait for a final confirmation from our target judge. Scores being put in place, and there you can see. In the end, a respectable 136 134 win goes to Puerto Rico's Mala Cintron. Well, it was all over before it began, really, for Charlene Goddard of Barbados. And Nikki, that miss on her third arrow, well, it told the whole story of the match, really. Yeah, it did. Uh, but, you know, never give up. That came down to two point win. So, um, you know, it's all to play for and you've just got to stay in your process and, and go with it because look how close that match was in the end. Yeah, absolutely. Had that miss not happened, even if it was an eight, it would have been a commanding victory for Charlene Goddard.